Hey guys, what's up? So for the longest time, I've been fighting a losing battle with Majano and Anmi until this fish comes along. This is um the common name, common name is um Bristol tail foulfish, sometimes known as jade foulfish as well. I think I picked this guy up from Live Aquaria for about twenty five dollars, and it was the best twenty five dollars I've ever spent. I was in the process of tearing down my tank because it just like infested with um. Majano and Anime. Um, for those of you who don't know what Majano and Anime is, it's kind of like Aptasia, but a more colorful version. It's like green with pink tip. It actually looks really nice, except they multiply really fast and they sting everything in the path. So I was trying to get rid of them. Um, I tried everything like Joe's Juice, uh, did melt them, but they always come back. I tried scraping them off, but that's not possible because a lot of them are in like holes and crevices that I simply couldn't get to. Um, I tried butterfly butterfly fish and I tried a cop, copper bank butterfly fish. Never touched him. Fox face, never touched him. Um, so I got this guy. For the first week in my tank, right, he was really secretive. We're just hiding. I never see him. It's not until the second or third week it started coming out a little bit more in the open. It's still really secretive compared to my other fish, but um, it's doing a lot better. So I was in the process of tearing down my tank, as you can see, as like, bear. And that's, that's when I noticed that, hey, Autumn Jano and Anime is gone. And it's all thanks to the foul fish. Although I've only personally seen it eight and Anime, and Anime once, and that's on day three. It was just kind of hanging out um, next to a power head and just randomly chomp one down. But, um,. I never saw him eat anyone after that. But they're all gone, so I guess he's doing his job. Right now I'm a little concerned because with all the Majano and Nanmi gone, I'm not sure what he's eating. And it's not taking the flake food. So I might have to start feeding a uh, live black worm or something. I think he went hiding again. But anyways, that was the Brissotel Foulfish. You can find him on Live Aquaria for twenty-five dollars, and I think they were they were actually running a special on them for like nineteen dollars. Uh, there he is, his little guy. It's pretty cool. Oh, one one little thing. Um, they might eat your Zoa. I do not have any Zoa at the moment, so I'm okay with this fish. But if you do, and if you value them, then you might want to remove them and put them in a sump or something for the moment. Pretty cool little guy. The body pattern actually changes um, based on surrounding. Here you go. And I'll do another update when I add some more things to the tank. I'm thinking some um, easy corals. Maybe like Xenia, Green Star Polyps, you know. Alright, until next time.